we're so excited. Tonight we booked the post party of the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Um, there's three parties that you can actually attend. There's a pre-party, there's the suites and seats, and also the post party for watching the Happily Ever After fireworks. Tonight we're doing the post party, so come along and see how it is. Once you check in, they, dig it, they do give you a post-party wristband. Um, if you are part of the seats and suites or the pre-party, you can watch the fireworks and on the terrace. We cannot because we go after the fact. Um, so we have a really cool area to view the, the Happily Ever After fireworks. Perfect view of the castle. You can sit on the green area. Not a lot of people around, which I love. So we're really excited to be here. I brought along my favorite Mickey's main attraction backpack. It is the, the December one and it was the fireworks. So I brought it on because we are celebrating the fireworks tonight and I love this one because it is um, the tie-dye here and that's my favorite. So it's the Mickey's main attraction for the 50 year. Did you know that Walt Disney World Company is the biggest consumer of fireworks in the world and that this uh, nighttime spectacular started on October 24th, 1971 for the release of the Polynesian Resort and also that the firework uh, dessert party that we're doing tonight only came back April 1st of 2023 and since COVID. So it's pretty cool that we found this and we're excited to join it. I love those fireworks. They'll never get old. The song, everything about it, it's amazing. So we can decorate these cookies. So I'm gonna... Chocolate silk pie. Cookies and cream cheesecake mousse. Mmm, a fresh batch of chocolate covered strawberries. Chilling chamber pop, yum. Tres leches. Devil's chocolate pudding. Firehouse donuts. Ooh. Butter butterscotch pudding. Chocolate and vanilla cake bites. Yum. Fruit. We got cheese. Some crackers. And then. Oh, this is cool. So this is a make your own caramel apple crepe. So for the drinks, this is the non-alcoholic. Got milk, water, unsweetened iced tea, unsweetened iced tea, lemonade, strawberry lemonade. Okay. This is the Pogue juice. This is pineapple, orange, and grapefruit juice. Apparently, it's like the best thing, so we're going to try some and see how it is. You've also got some Joffrey's coffee, of course. You've got decaf coffee, and then hot tea. Let's try a couple desserts. So this I had a bite of already. It's a birthday cake cake. It's very sweet, like very sweet. Um, it's very sweet. All right, let's try the donut now. Good. 
the pog juice. We got pineapple, orange, and grapefruit. Wow. That is so good. I don't even know what that tastes like. It's so good. Um, today was really fun. I really liked it. I I liked having that personal area to watch the fireworks. We got there pretty early. We got there at like 7.45. The fireworks started at 9. So we had a lot of time. We got like right up front. Um, you do still have some obstructions. So it's not a perfect viewing of the fireworks, unfortunately. Um, but it was great. I mean, I love the show. And I loved having a private area. It does fill up because the pre-party and the post-party all view it together. The place that's different is the seats and suites. They have their whole terrace that you can watch the fireworks on. But I got a great view of Tinkerbell flying and that was really great. Other than that, would I do this again for $95? I don't know. Um, you have to come like super, super hungry. There's a lot of desserts. I don't know if I paid $95 again um, to watch fireworks. So. I was just thinking that I would do this again if it was like a late night snack. So chicken nuggets, pizza bagels, um, like a good kind of food like that. The, we just had some cheese and crackers and that was more exciting than the dessert because the dessert is so sweet and you can only have a little bit. So for $95, would I pay this again? Like I said, no, but if it was chicken nuggets and pizza bagels, I would do like the first, the free one. That way I could have dinner, watch the fireworks and leave. That'd be great. I'd pay $95 for that. Um, it's late. I think that everyone's here just trying to eat and get out. So we'll see how the crowds are when we leave. But it's already 10 o'clock. So. so it's late to have this much sugar. You know, Disney is way too smart to say, let's charge them $95 and give them stuff that they're going to eat so much of. So they definitely thought this through and said let's make all the desserts super super sweet they'll fill up pretty quickly and they'll still pay $95 a person to come here so they're not gonna waste so much food because you fill up I mean we got so much and look how much is left we, uh, we can't eat it it's just so much I think we had a bite of a bunch so if they did the late night snacks they'd waste so much food I mean think about a cosmic rays menu here at night I'd pay it sliders pizza bagels all that stuff like I said so Disney's way too smart to make this something that is worth your $95. And that's my opinion. So it was a really fun day here at Magic Kingdom, um, ending the night with the post-party fireworks was really awesome just to see the fireworks. Like I said, I wouldn't pay the $95 again for the sweets because they were really, really sweet and you can't really eat a lot. Um, but for the really private viewing, it's awesome. Magic Kingdom is one of my favorite parks and I'm so happy we were here tonight. Look at that beauty. Uh, chef's kiss.